Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Rise of the Relics Territory Battles video guide. You'll be able to find this and all my other Territory Battle guides on my Swaga for Life website so if you haven't seen it yet, go and check it out, there will be a link in the description below. In today's video I'll be taking you to the planet of Braca, so that's the light side uh, planet in Sector 2. First I'll be covering platoons, uh, all doing the overview of missions and their modifiers and then I'll show you the battles that I was able to do personally myself. Obviously I do not have all the units yet to try out all the missions but for those at least I'll show you what teams are suggested if you do have them and you know this is now uh, sector 2 so any uh, units below relic 6 are not available that's why you will see that maybe i don't always use the most optimal teams that i'll be showing you and also maybe some of them in platoons uh, by the way let's first kick off uh speaking of platoons well operations now it's called i believe um so de depending on what you really feel in here you get some extra here now it's bonuses uh so you got a strafing run uh so if you uh, fill in two operations you will re reach level one which will unlock the ability for you so where you deal physical damage to all enemies but most importantly it will dispel all buffs on them termite removal is okay but removing buffs i think would be very useful so you can you know get around taunts and things like that and then if you complete level two or three obviously you will get a little bit more damage boost and the cooldown speed is reduced but you know as long as you get level one i think that should be enough to help you along the way to get this knocked out okay so let's look at the mission modifier next uh, mostly we got the platoons already so there are like two modifiers you need to look out for so the first one is endless ranks uh, so i think in total they will get five stacks uh on the, uh, the enemies unlike three that we do get in galactic challenges there's also another difference here that these revives actually can be prevented uh, whereas obviously in galactic challenges and conquest you can't prevent those revives so you've got like you know some ability to prevent revives like maybe whirlwind from ray uh, although these guys are very durable they'll probably take two whirlwinds before they're defeated they won't be coming back uh, so that's a slight difference and then the second modifier in primal supremacy is a very powerful modifier it does a lot of things uh, most importantly there when, whenever the leader uses special abilities we we'll call everybody to assist and they also get probe droid to summon as well and on top of it all the strongest ally will taunt as well uh, so quite a lot uh, going on here that's why if you do have some sort of ability like to daze and stun so they don't uh you know assist as much you should be good to go otherwise these guys they do quite a lot of damage actually um so both missions here are, are very similar um so you can use any of these teams that i listed here or any of the two missions like there's not maybe like uh, somewhere on other missions when you have to use specific teams in a specific uh, missions these are very generic uh so in first wave you will just face you know uh, their storm uh, the stormtrooper commander and a bunch of troopers and then the second waves are basically the same just one of the bosses if crosshair and the other boss there is second sister but it won't even matter whichever team you use versus these guys you should be good to go personally as you can see by the video icon displayed on the screen here uh, i'll be showing you jenna master kenobi and then ray jedi training resistance team uh, other teams that you can try uh got finn omicron apparently can get this done easily same thing for kyle omicron and one of my team and then you could do some sort of ray scoundrel team as well Obviously, if you do uh, want to have Ray available here in Baraka, you can use her under Ray Jedi training lead. It will make it a little bit safer than not. Uh, but I like to use Ray usually in the mix zone with scoundrels or something like that. Um, that's why actually I just use a Ray Jedi training standard without Galactic Legend Ray. So these are the two ground missions. Uh, then we obviously got the Jedi mission as well. Uh, now here uh, we'll be using uh, Jedi Knight Luke lead uh, with Jedi Master Luke and then you know whichever free Jedi really you have Relic 6 or above uh, it won't matter all that much like Grandmaster Yura is great he's getting a lot of turns so he'll be able to quickly be using uh, Heroes Arise for you uh, in terms of the bosses you know again Wave 1 is the same in all these missions uh, with Stormtrooper Commander and then Wave 2 again the same just the boss here is Nine Sister but it doesn't even matter to be honest she doesn't do a whole lot and now the modifier for the fleet mission so the first time a ship is reduced to one health they get decommissioned and then basically they're kind of decommissioned it's kind of like fracture they can't really do a whole lot and then they get a turn they're just uh, defeated so 
I don't quite understand the purpose of this modifier, but hey, it's there, it's it's annoying, um, not a whole lot you can do. Um, and obviously what you want to do here is uh, use profundity, uh, I think any other fleet uh, gets smashed, at least from my testing. I personally do not have profundity at 7 stars yet, so won't be able to show you in this video. But from what I've seen, you know, you're facing Chimera and profundity makes it pretty, pretty trivial to complete uh, this mission. Okay, so finally let's get into the gameplay, so I'm just gonna start here with the Jedi mission first, as I always do. Uh, let's just go ahead, uh, bring in my Jedi Knight Luke lead. So with Jedi Knight Luke lead for these territory battles, you always want to make him as slow as you can. So just put uh, my draw deck as set on him, so he's slow, so whenever he gets a turn, he will equalize speed. Uh, he will set the speed to the enemies equal to his speed, so everybody will get like at 133 speed on the enemy side. But all these other Jedi are fast, so they'll be getting lots of turns, and then every I think every eight or nine turns you get to use Heroes Arise, so you can keep then the Jedi will going and keep feeding uh, and obviously turn to look. Uh, he also has got nice mass stun that will give everybody stun and things like that. So you know things are pretty straightforward. Jedi must look. Uh, you get to go first. Just use Heroes Arise. You were gonna dispel the taunt. You can go ahead and do the mass stun now. And obviously now in first things first you have to exhaust those five revives from the enemies so you will just want to uh, gun down one enemy uh, at a time uh, because you don't want them defeating them they all lose stun and they start defeating so what you want to do is keep uh, everybody stunned and then just keep taking out one enemy over and over again so here comes the probe droid so I'll just go ahead and dispel the taunt there now both Jedi Knight Luke and Shakti on their basics can dispel uh, buffs which is very nice so I'm just keep going after Stormtrooper just uh, Recon Stormtrooper I'm going to go ahead try and taking out five times before I start taking care of the other guys there we go down to two stacks so here comes those assists now but you can see just spinning up the footage it's not a whole lot here I think that enemy can do uh, we reduce their speed finally get rid of all those stacks of endless ranks now going after per trooper next another mass stun coming in and I'm just to go ahead finish these guys off one thing at a time obviously be careful there uh, make sure you keep probe draw under control um, he's got less than 100% health there so I have him mobility block so that it can't use its self-destruct ability and as always we generate look lead in these uh, battles you will want to time your hits save your heroes arise for the final blow so Luke then gets 100% turn meter and then he will then start wave 2 with full turn meter which means he will instantly reduce speed on the enemies I used here the platoon ability to remove the taunt uh, from 9 sister and now we can do mass stuns we do e flux and first things I'm just gonna take out 9 sister first she's not an imperial trooper so she won't get uh, endless ranks on her uh, so she won't be coming back so it's like one enemy uh, last to deal with and now I'm just gonna go again same as in wave one I'm just going to go after one of these guys now this was recorded there was still this bug where you had multiple Imperial probe droids summoned I believe they fixed this already so you shouldn't have that problem anyway was able to remove like taunt five times from Imperial probe droids and I'm just going uh, again same thing just pin down one of those uh, troopers better maybe get perch troopers keep them stunned uh, so they don't get to do a whole lot and I'm just going after Stormtrooper here uh, Take him down so as you can see they got a few turns in but I was able to quickly get things under control now that All the revives are exhausted. Just go ahead finish off Purge Trooper and there you go Quite easy and straightforward here with Jedi Knight Luke now for the second mission here versus Crosshair in Waves 2 uh, I'll be using Jedi Master Kenobi Galactic Public Team um, Obviously it's going to be limited like I do not have a Padawan Ahsoka uh, she's at Relic 5, right? We need the Relic 6 units here. Uh, I tried this before I had Commander Sokatano at Relic 6, I just had her at Relic 5. And without Commander Sokatano, my Kenobi just got smashed. Um, that's why I pushed a little bit Commander Sokatano to Relic 6 so I can use her now here on Baraka. And that made it then doable. Uh, I also like to bring General Skywalker if possible, uh, mod him for potency so he can land days, right? So we stop all the, the their as mass assists once they start getting turns. There we go, let's go ahead, uh, reset cooldowns on uh, Ahsoka and we can just obviously take out uh, Stormtrooper Commander number one. But remember, this will not prevent revives this ability. Uh, so he got back, but at least I immediately got one stack of Ender Strengths down. 
Uh, we go, we got days out there, so no assist. That's why I think Jalas Walker there is very helpful. I'm going to use Strafing Run, the Operations ability, get a taunt off uh, Probe Droid because I do not have uh, Paravana Soka, so I have nobody really here to dispel. I use Shakti with my Jedi already. And same thing as before, I'm just pinning down a uh, Recon Stormtrooper. Just try to get him down uh, four times so you exhaust all those endless ranks. And then you can actually start defeating these guys. There we go, hitting the high ground. We can ignore the taunts now. Uh, there we go, exhausted all of their uh, stacks of endless ranks. So now when I do defeat them, they'll be down for good. Going after Stormtrooper Commander first um, because he can heal everybody up. There we go, got him down. Going after Purge Troopers next. And then we'll take care of uh, Stormtrooper as well again. Just keep an eye out there on Probe Droid. Make sure uh, you don't get his health below 100% uh, because then he can go ahead and use self-destruct. There we go. Just kind of saving up my special abilities uh, for the next wave. Let's go ahead, finish off Perch Trooper and onwards we go. Um, there we go, we got uh, Crosshair. I don't think he really does much like I uh, checked his abilities, but I didn't really notice doing a whole lot same things first we'll have to obviously exhaust here um, all the revives there you go got him down that's that let's let's see what crosshair does deal physical damage fine and these are just the standard modifiers there from the mission so we don't really have a whole lot of um abilities here for crosshair he doesn't do a whole lot to be honest but still i'm just gonna go after him first there we go get him down obviously four times here comes a probe droid with a taunt, so I'm gonna again do an AoE. There was General Skywalker making sure to get days. that's why I do like to load uh, gas here. Uh, generally in all the territory battles, even in light side GOTB, I like to mod gas uh, for uh, potency to land those dazes reliably, you know, on those droidekas and uh, sniper droids and things like that. There we go. We got almost all the endless ranks down, just one more. I hit the high ground so we can ignore the taunts now. There we go, got Purge Trooper number one down. Let's go ahead and finish off Crosshair. Another AoE with gas, more days on the board. Uh, going after Stormtrooper Commander, so they don't heal up. Okay, going after Purge Trooper next. I lost the high ground, couldn't ignore the taunt yet there. There we go, finish off this guy and finally Stormtrooper will go die eventually. So there we go, definitely uh, Jeremiah's taken over here. If you do have Commander Sokatana Relic 6 or above, will work. Bef without Commander Sokatano, it was not as reliable for me. So let's head over now uh, to the other light side mission where Second Sister will be waiting for us in the wave 2. And here I'm just running Rage Jedi training again to make this a little bit easier and more reliable. Uh, you can add Galactic Legend Ray instead of Scavenger if you do have her. Or maybe Resistance Trooper, he's getting lots of bonus turn meter. But I would imagine most of us kept our Resistance Trooper at a Relic 5. Um, obviously you will want to mod these guys for as much speed as you can because if you don't the enemy is fairly quick and even with that turn meter you're gaining from BB-8 you will get uh, smashed somebody might die off and you really need everybody alive uh, so you can start rolling with the turn meter trains definitely load these guys with speed there you go they were able to go first now because of bb it's unique we're able to go second I'm going to go ahead and use here uh, operations ability strafing run an AOE we deal damage we expose enemies, we gain bonus turn meter, another AoE from R2, more turn meter from the team. We can now go ahead, call assists here. So what I try to do is now utilize R2's uh, basic to keep everybody stunned. Remember, if we stun them, they won't be able to get, get their attacks out, so no assists and things like that. Actually, Scavenger Ray is kind of useful if you do have Zeta on her like I do, because whenever she uses a special ability, if she's not debuffed, she'll be applying days that can't be resisted so also you can spread days with her amongst the guys so if they do get a turn they can't assist uh, other than that just try to get everybody stun locked here uh, with uh, r2 trying to st their stun stormtrooper there we go we got everybody stun locked and again same thing as with the, with the jedi i'm just going to go ahead uh, pin down a recon stormtrooper just try to get him out uh, as quickly as you can there we go all the endless ranks exhausted Perfect, got him down also. I have Illuminated Destiny ready, but I I will save it for Wave 2 uh, just so I can again get a jump start on these guys. I mean, you know, Stormtrooper shouldn't be too much of a threat here. Just saving all my special attacks. So once I do hit Wave 2, I can get the ground running instantly. Okay, so let's uh, go now. Again, just do an AoE. 
fuel the termeter to your team do illuminated destiny more termeter and now we can go to town again call everybody to assist uh, the second sister she's not an imperial trooper so she won't come back when you do defeat her at this point i'm just keeping everybody either dazed or stunned just kind of taking my time keeping everybody under control there we go got stunned everybody okay dazed and i'm just again going after stormtrooper uh, like i could do an aoe there maybe with r2 but if that would defeat all those guys that are stunned they could come back and start attacking so once you do have everybody like stun locked uh, i avoid doing aoe's until endless ranks is exhausted because i don't want them coming back losing stun and actually getting out some plays and as mentioned earlier unfortunately i can't show you the fleet missions because uh, whatever i tried i just get totally smashed so it's not worth showing you at all uh, but if you do have profundity i'm told it should be quite straightforward Alright guys, hopefully you find this video useful and helpful. Let me know in the comments below or my Discord server. But until then, have fun, enjoy life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.